In today's world, many companies seem very fickle. Like a ship without a sail, they are tossed back and forth by the waves. They say their company stands for one thing, and then their actions do something entirely different. They're chasing the almighty dollar at the cost of their morals, their reputation, and their customers. But Blender is different. Hey, my name is Al, and I have an oxymoron for you. If you don't know what that word means, feel free to Google it. But the oxymoron is old news. I got some old news for you. But I feel that it's super important and that we can all learn something from it. So five months ago, roughly, Russia invaded Ukraine. So at the time, Blender was pressured into doing something that many other companies have already done, including Maxon, the parent company of ZBrush, which was to refuse the sale of or access to Blender software to people in Russia. But the founder of Blender, Tan Rosendahl, said no. So let's go back a few years and take a look at his tweet from 2019. In 2019, Tan said, Blender is free software. It's free to use for everyone, free to use for any purpose, also commercially. Blender is free to share with others, free to study its sources, and free to make new version. Blender is free forever. What I want you to do is put yourself in Ton's shoes. I don't know what shoe size he wears. Put yourself in his shoes. So if I were Ton and I gave in to the demands and restricted access to Blender from people in Russia, any time that I would be at a conference speaking or just speaking in life at my job, whatever, about the motto of Blender, like the idea that Blender is free for everyone forever, in the back of my mind, I would always think, except that one time where it wasn't. So Blender is more than just a piece of software. It has grown to become, you know, kind of like an idea, a philosophy. So when you believe in this idea, when you believe in something so strongly, you become anchored. It becomes more than just a product. So mad props to Tan Rosendahl for sticking to his guns, sticking to his values of his company, and for the people of all countries and nations, regardless of the pressure that he receives. 